Titanic, the world's most renowned ship, and favorite debate of people. Whenever we hear the word Titanic, it reminds us Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. Everyone is aware from this sad accident but did you know, there is a mystery which few people know and that is Futility, a book or novella by Morgan Robertson, first published in 1898 just 14 years before from the accident of Titanic. In this novella, Robertson introduces the longest and fastest ship in the world, named Titan that is also considered unsinkable, while sailing between America and Ireland. But the ship hits an iceberg and capsizes, and only 13 people survive. Although the novel was written before the RMS Titanic was even conceptualized, but there are some striking similarities between the fictional and real-life Titanic. The imaginary ship sank in April in the North Atlantic Ocean after colliding with an iceberg, much like the Titanic, and there weren't enough lifeboats to save every passenger. There are also similarities in size. The ship in novella was 800 feet long while Titanic was 882 feet and 9 inch long. After the disaster, new rules were drawn up in world. First was requiring that the number of places in lifeboats must be equal to the number of passengers because the Titanic had only 1,178 lifeboat places for 2,224 passengers. The second rule was that all ships maintain a 24-hour radio watch for distress signals because at the time of disaster a ship less than 20 miles away had not heard the Titanic's distress signal because no one had been on duty and last was that the International Ice Patrol was established to monitor icebergs in shipping lanes. The idea that the ship was unsinkable was spread by newspaper and magazine articles as well as by advertisement materials from the shipping company, this indicates that nobody said, God can't sink this ship. The first movie about the Titanic was released in May 1912 after 29 days of sinking. Though everyone believes the movie Titanic to be true but the fact will shock you that it is filmed in swimming pool. In movie the sketch that Jack drew of Rose wearing the famous necklace was really drawn by director James Cameron. The hands that we see drawing the sketch are really Cameron's. Cameron was also responsible for all the other sketches that were in Jack's sketchbook. In 1985, Robert Ballard found the wreck of the Titanic lying upright in two pieces at a depth of 12,000 feet. The American and French scientists explored it using an uncrewed submersible.